Hey guys, have you ever thought why some people are mentally stronger compared to others? They behave strong in tough situations while others get panicked. They face trouble like everybody else, but they overcome it quite successfully. Now, if you ever ask the secret of their strong mentality, they may probably say that it's nothing. But that's not true. Well, technically they are right, but when it comes to their mind, they think a little different than others. In this explainer video, we will talk about the minds of strong people. We will also try to explain how to adopt their strong mentality. For the sake of easy understanding, we will discuss their approach in two ways, broad thinking and far thinking. Let's first talk about broad thinking. What is broad thinking? Broad thinking means you have a broader picture of your life. If you try to picture your whole life for a moment, you will realize just how much you have to handle in your one lifetime. Growing up, you have to study. Then you need to learn specific skills and look for a job or pursue your own path. At the same time, you also need to look for a life partner. And of course, while you are doing all of that, you constantly need to take care of your health. But that's not all. You also need to take care of your family, friends, relatives, and so on. Last but not least, you also need to make time for your hobbies and entertainment. While doing so many things simultaneously, it is obvious that sometimes you can get lost in one or a few activities. Unknowingly, you might start thinking that you are made just for one specific job or activity and forget about your main purpose in life. Everyone has their own life goals, but living a purposeful life is only possible if you do not allow one or few physical activities to take control of your whole life. The mind can think of one thing at one time, but surely sometimes you can have a glance at everything going on in your life. To do that, you need to take a step back and zoom out. Now let's talk about far thinking. Far thinking means to think in the long run. To understand this more clearly, we can take an example of a race. Let's say you are running a race and the finish line is 50 kilometers away. To complete the race and perhaps win it, you need to plan out how you will use your energy. You will need to take a long-term view and not just think about the first few minutes of the race. In the same way, our life is quite long. It doesn't happen in one week, month, or even a year. It has thousands of days and nights and millions of hours and seconds. But most of the time, we try to solve issues for the time being. And that's probably why the next month, the same issue knocks at our door again. It might not exactly be in the same form, but it will most likely be of the same kind. We all need to accept this universal truth. All humans face problems. There is not a single person on the planet who doesn't face difficulties in life. However, most people tend to address issues without considering the actual reason behind the problems. But if you are the person who can think in the long run, you will address the issue by keeping your whole life in mind, and hence you will solve the problem along with the actual reason. Now we got a problem. The problem is... If you do only far thinking, it can make you worried about your future. This happens with a lot of people as they are always concerned about what the future holds for them. And if you do only broad thinking, it can also make you feel nervous because you may have more than one issue to handle at once. So how do we solve this problem? How to avoid being nervous and being extra worried? The answer is balance. You see, far thinking and broad thinking are excellent ways of looking at life. It's just that you need to make sure you strike a balance between the two. You can probably look at this through the eyes of a warrior. A warrior needs to have both a sword to attack and a shield to protect himself. For you to become a strong warrior in your life, you should equip yourself with broad and far thinking both. 
So when you get into any trouble, you can protect yourself by keeping an eye on your whole life. When you do this, you will realize that this is not the end of life. You will become aware of the fact that there might be more problems yet to come, and there might be many joys yet to enjoy. Life never stops, and such events are part of it. So by having a broader picture of your life, you will probably stop focusing on troubles, and if you get a little stronger, you will perhaps focus only on joys of your life. At the same time, with the help of far thinking, you will address the issue seriously, because your eyes can see your life after a month, a year, ten years, and so on. A person who thinks this way, we call him a big man. Big people think big. They may be doing one thing, but they keep their eyes on everything. They may be solving one issue, but they keep the whole life in their mind. The bigger you think, the bigger a person you will become, and hence you will feel much stronger. Naturally, it will become much easier for you to handle tough times. Trouble will surely come in your life, but your mind will have the immunity to face it boldly. Okay guys, on an ending note, we would like to add here the personal experience of the writer. He believes that the reading of this article, once in a while, or in our case, watching this video, subconsciously helps you to achieve the strong mentality discussed in the topic. The idea of far and broad thinking is easy to understand, but just like so many other things, this mindset is achievable by practice only. So with that being said, hit the like button. YouTube will automatically add the video in your playlist. And subscribe to Solid Clarity to watch more interesting videos. And if this video helped you in any possible way, be generous and share it with your family and friends. Thank you for watching. Until next time, live like a strong warrior and never let any situation take control over your life.